guys, Learning with Rich here. In this video, let's continue our discussion about our sprinkler design in Revit. So in this video, we are going to learn how to add branches, equipment, pipe fittings, and accessories. Okay, so just to recap, on our last video, we have learned how to create our riser and main pipes. Okay, so this time around, the first thing that we're going to do in this exercise, we are going to connect our sprinklers to our main pipes, okay, to create our branches. Alright, so before I start, what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn off the visibility of my floor, okay, because as you can see, I can't see clearly my layout here, so that's why what I'm going to do is... uh. I'm going to turn off the visibility so I can type VG or VV or you can just click the edit here and then I am going to hide my floor here which is this one okay so actually you can also override the pattern so if you want to hide the hatch pattern like that and then the hatch pattern like this on our floor you can go to the patterns and then you can uncheck the visibility of the foreground and then the background but in my case i'll just uncheck the floor and then i'm going to select here okay there you go all right so that we can see clearly our model here so what i'm going to do is i'm going to turn off my thin line so that i can see my line weight for the pipes for the layout here nice and clear and if you are wondering why i am seeing here a line instead of two lines for the pipe it's because of the detail level here okay so there's a lot of uh, students or new users of Revit sometimes they are wondering why is it their pipes are showing like uh, this one single line okay so it's because of the detail line here so you can change the detail line to fine so you can see the double line of your uh, pipes there okay of course you can also change here our uh -huh, detail level to or the graphic display to shaded just like that okay so you can always do that but before that i'm just going to change that to medium so i want my pipes to be shown as a single line all right so let's connect the dots so we are going to connect our uh, sprinklers our hosted sprinklers here our ceiling hosted sprinklers and then our uh, wall hosted sprinklers all right, so that is what I what we are going to do. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to connect this sprinkler here. So if I'm going to click this pipe, it says that it's 10 feet. So the height or the middle elevation is 10 feet. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click this sprinkler and then I'm going to right click that node. Okay, right click and then you can see draw pipe. So before you pick this pipe, so check out here the elevation. So the elevation of the pipe that you will be creating is only 8 feet. That's why if you are going to connect that to this pipe, you will see this error. Okay, it says that no auto route solution was found. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to adjust the height of the pipe that will be coming from the sprinkler here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick the sprinkler. Right click that node to create the pipe, draw pipe, and then after that, I'm going to change the elevation here. So instead of 8 feet, I'm going to type 10, enter for 10 feet. And then after that, I'm going to connect here. And there you go. Okay. Now, the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, select this um, P fitting here. So I'm going to click that. And then you can see there's a plus here, so I can upgrade this T fitting to a cross fitting so that I can connect also my sprinkler to this pipe here. So I'm going to select that plus sign to make this cross fitting. And then I'm going to click again this sprinkler. And then this time around, instead of right clicking that node, I can just simply click that icon there, that drip icon. It says if you're going to hover your pointer, it says create pipe. So meaning to say if you if you click that, you will be creating a pipe. So just click that icon and there you go. And don't forget to change the 
elevation here so i'm going to change that to 10 feet as well and then i'm going to connect that there there you go all right okay so let's check this out in 3d view so what i'm going to do is um, i'm going to uncheck the link here so that i'm not going to accidentally select the link when i use a window selection so i'm going to select like this and then after that i'm going to select here the selection box there you go all right so there's now my pipes okay so as you can see Again, it shows here just a single line. So what I'm going to do is I can change here the detail level to fine. And there you have it. So maybe I'm going to turn on the thin line so I can see the details of my pipe. And then I can change the graphic display here to shade it. So that's how it looks like. Okay, so coming from that pipe. Of course, you can also adjust the pipe here the pipe size if you want okay so you can always adjust that so let's say for example if this is uh five inches so this one is only half a half of an inch so let's say i want to make this two inches so i can just uh click this oh maybe i'm just going to highlight the whole connection like this hold control to select and then i can change that to two inches and then it will adjust it will automatically adjust okay so that's our sprinkler there okay so you can also do that so i'm going to turn on the section box here actually it's already turned on but it's just hidden in this view so that's why i'm going to click the reveal hidden elements just click that there's a section box so click uh, click the section box and then unhide the category and then toggle reveal hidden elements mode there you go so that i can click this and then i can adjust the view just like that right okay and then as you can see we still have few sprinklers that needs to be connected on our pipe here so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go to the view and then I'm going to select here tile views. There you go. So that I have here the 3D view and I have here the 2D. Okay. So this time I'm going to connect now this. So I'm going to select this. I'm going to select that drip icon, the create pipe icon. So I click that one. And then this time around, instead of 10 feet, I'll try to change this to, uh, let's say 12 feet. Okay or 12.5 okay so 12.5 inch okay and then i'm going to connect here so let's see how it will look like click and there you go so for the 3d view i just need to adjust the section box so i can see the model there okay so again i can hover my pointer like this and then press tab to highlight the selection and then you click then after that, I'm not going to select this fitting here. So I'm going to hold control to deselect that. And probably this sprinkler as well. Hold and then select the sprinkler to deselect so that I can change the diameter. Let's say, for example, 3 inches. There you go. Okay. So I'm just playing around with the sizes. Okay. So let's connect this one here this is sprinkler you can also connect your sprinkler in the 3d view so let's try that in the 3d view so i'm going to select this sprinkler click that okay and then after that you can change the elevation here so let's say same 12 feet and 6 inches and there you go then after that i'm going to let's say i'm going to click somewhere here okay i'm going to click here and then I'm going to click there to connect to that pipe. There you go. Okay, you can play around with your pipe there. So again, I'm going to select the pipes as well as the fittings. There you go. And then let us change that, let's say, 4 inches. Okay, so let's play around with changing the sizes of our pipe. Okay, so there you go. So as you can see, there is our sprinkler. 
Okay, so let's do that here as well. So I'm going to select this. I will do that in the floor plan. So I click that, click that um, create pipe icon. So change that, let's say to 10 feet. And then after that, I'll just pick this pipe here. There you go. So in 3D view, so this is how it looks like. Okay, so I'll just select the pipes and the fitting. So let's say this will gonna be five inches. There you go. Okay, so we are messing up the design. So I'm just trying to show you uh, to explore your model, okay? And of course, you can also create a section if you want to modify your pipe. Let's say, for example, I create a section here. So I create a section. So I'll just look to the other side by clicking this icon. There you go. And then I open up the section. Aside from the 3D view, you can also modify your piping here on the section view. So let us change that to fine. And there you go. So you can also click this pipe here if you want. You can adjust that. Okay, you can adjust. You can move up. Of course, all the pipe will move as well. Okay, we're not going to do that. Okay, so you can edit from here. Right? Okay, now the next thing that we are going to do is after we modify this hosted uh, ceiling, okay, hosted uh, ceiling hosted sprinkler. So let's do that as well here on our wall hosted. Okay, so for our wall hosted, so I'm going to click this. I'm going to click this, uh, this sprinkler, click that icon. So you click that. And then after that, I'm going to pick here. I'm going to pick another point here. And this is just 8 feet, so I'm going to change that to 10 feet. There you go. And then I'm going to connect it here. There you have it. Okay. So let me just change the detail level to medium and then the visual style to uh, hidden. There you go. Okay, and then let's connect also this sprinkler here, the other sprinkler. So for this one, I'll just click this, click that icon, make sure you change the elevation. So let's say 10 feet, and then let's click this pipe here to connect. There you go. And also same with this one. So I click this, click that icon. So I'm going to pick here, I'm going to pick here, and then I'll change that to 10 feet, and then let's connect. There you go. Okay, so this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to click this section box here. This is a good tip. So you can click the section box, and then you can see that it will be highlighted here on the floor plan. So from here, you can adjust the section box. Very cool feature. There you go. Right? Okay, and then again, I can change the sizes of the pipes here. So I can just use the crossing selection, hold control, select the pipes and fittings. Okay, pipe and fittings. Let's select this, select, select. And then we can change that, let's say two inches. Oh, okay, so we are having this problem here. It's because of the pipe that we have here. So there's a problem. So when we change the size of our pipe, it's too tight here. Okay, it's too close. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to just cancel this one first. So instead of doing like this, what I'm gonna do is um, I'm gonna go ahead and adjust the pipe here. Oops, where's that, this one. So I'm going to click this pipe and then I'm going to the top view. Okay, and then I'm going to use the arrow on my keyboard. Move to the left side. Okay, so I can nudge that so that it will now look like this. Okay, so that I have enough space here. Okay, so let's try to change again the size. So, so let's select all the pipes. And then the fittings, and then after that, we are going to change our uh, size here. So I'll change that to 2 inches. There you go. Okay? 
All right, so hope this one is clear. So it's very simple to connect your sprinkler as long as you already have laid out your main pipe and then your riser. Okay, now the next thing that we are going to do for this exercise is that we are going to insert some um, equipment. Okay, so we're going to insert an equipment, let's say somewhere here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to maximize this view by selecting here tab views. Okay, so here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, select this pipe here, this riser. I'm going to delete that. So I'm going to adjust my pipe. Okay, so I'm going to uh, move this pipe here. I'm going to move it somewhere here. Okay, and then after that, I'm going to go ahead and adjust this. So I'm just trying to adjust my pipe here. I'm showing, uh, I'm just dragging the pipe. Okay, so you can do this. And then after that, I'm going to create a pipe here. So I can right click that. So select this pipe and then right click that node. You can create the pipe. Okay, and then after that, so we are going to align that to this point here. So I'm going to pick and then connect again. So Revit will automatically uh, adjust the riser there, the connection, okay? So let's say, for example, this is where I want to insert the equipment. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the Insert tab, and then I'm going to Load Family, Load Family, and then let me just go to the Exercise folder, after three, oops, where's my family equipment? Okay, so I'm going to load the air compressor and then the black, uh, backflow preventer. So I'm going to load these two equipment here. So I'm going to select here open to load it. Okay, so this is where I'm going to insert my compressor to this location. And then I'm going to insert the backflow uh, equipment here. Okay, so to do that, I'll go to the systems. And then I have here mechanical equipment. So when I click the mechanical equipment, the air compressor will now show here. So that is the selected equipment. So I'm going to put it here. So you can press space bar if you want to rotate your object or equipment, and then you can now place it here. Click. There you go. And then I'm not going to terminate my mechanical equipment tool. So I'm going to click the drop down arrow here. And then look for, where's my backflow? Okay, I think that one is accessory. So systems, uh, accessory, this one, pipe accessory. And there you go. So there's my backflow preventer. So I'm going to press space bar or no need to press the space bar because if you hover your pointer to the pipe automatically it will uh, adjust okay so I'm going to pick here okay and then after that I'll just select your modify then you can also pick this pipe and then you can adjust and then you can drag that to the to the right side okay just to adjust now you can also change the detail level to fine. You can change that to fine. And then you can now see the model there. Okay, so I'm going to pick this. I'll just move down. Now notice that our backflow here, the size is different. So if I click this one, it's only 2.5, right? It's only 2.5 inches. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the size of this. So that one selected you can change that from here so let's say I want to change that to 10 inches so I click that and there you go okay what so maybe it's because of the distance here let me just adjust this okay all right so let's move this down okay so let's change that again to 10 inches all right, there you go. Okay, so let's check this out in the 3D view. So I'm going to select the 3D. I click the section box and then go back again to level one. 
So there's your section box. So I can move that all the way here. Move that up. And then go to the 3D view. And there you go. So let's click this one. And there you go. Okay, so there's our accessory. Right? So there's the accessory. And then we also have here our equipment, our compressor. Okay? Now, the next thing that we are going to do is we are going to insert our uh, pipe fittings. Okay? So let's say, for example, what I want is I want to insert a check valve here. Okay, so I will do that in the 3D view because you can also do that in 3D view. So I'm going to select the systems again here, pipe accessory, and then let's look for the check bulb. So there's no check bulb loaded here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to load family and then uh, let's look for the location. So where did I save that one? <laughs> Revit 2020, English, oh, not that one, U.S. metric. So how about, okay, U.S. metric. Okay, so I'll just use U.S. metric and then look for pipe, accessories, and then let's look for check bulb. Do I have a check bulb here? Oh, so not on the accessories, but bulb, sorry. So check bulb. And then let's look for flange, 50 to 300 mm flange. So I click that, open. All right, so there you go. So there is our check valve. So let us try to put it here. All right. Okay, let me just cancel this one. I'm going to adjust this. Okay, so I'll click that. Okay, now let's adjust that here. Okay, so that I have enough. Uh, space there. So I select the pipe accessory check valve. So let's put it here. There you have it. Okay. So let's change the size. So this size is 200 mm. So how about I change that to 300? Okay. So it doesn't allow us. So I just need to adjust it again because it's too close. All right. So. Okay, okay, and let's change that again. Let's try it. 250. So how about 300? All right, there you go. So there is our check valve. Okay, so in 2D view, so that's how it looks like. Okay, so if you're going to change the detail level to medium, so this is how it looks like. Okay, so in our company, uh, we prefer to use this kind of settings, single line, okay? But in the 3D view, we show it like this. So we can see the details, all right? So let's say aside from the check valve, I also want to insert, uh, let's say, one uh, ball valve, okay? So let's say I'm going to insert a ball valve somewhere here, okay? So I'm going to just adjust. So let's say I'm going to put a ball valve here okay so I'm going to select again load family let's look for ball valves okay so I just select this one open okay so let's use uh, let's try this one first the uh, hundred or eighty Okay, 80, and then let's put it here. There you go. Okay. So I'm going to adjust that to 150. There you go. Oh, is it? Oh, that's too big. So how about 100? Okay, so let's say, for example, this one is enough. Okay. If you click your valve here, you can also modify that. You see, you can rotate that. So if you want that to be accessible be uh, below, you can click the rotate here so that the people or the maintenance here below, they can just uh, access the Volvo. Okay. So basically, that's how you create your uh, branches. Okay. So that's how you create your branches. And then that's how you add your uh, equipment and accessories and fittings.
Okay, so hopefully you like this video and you have learned something from this video, guys. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, you can put it on the comment section below, guys. And I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day.